Hello and welcome to this successful garden design show. In this episode we're going to be looking at the quintessential English herbaceous border and how you can create a stunning planting border in your garden. We're also going to take a look at various other inspirational gardens around England and we're going to take a look at some of our successful garden design students gardens and get updates on how they're doing. If you're frustrated your garden doesn't look as beautiful as it could, even though you've purchased lots of lovely plants, then help is at hand. Plants are not enough. You have to have a good design layout. And when you combine design with the beauty of plants, that's when the magic really happens. It's our mission here at Successful Garden Design to show you how to do it. And it's much easier than you may think. I'm Rachel Matthews and I've been a professional international garden designer for over 25 years and I teach garden design online. So this is a beautiful herbaceous border with grasses and what makes this so stunning is the large bold group planting. Now I'm not usually a fan of wiggly borders when there's no main lawn shape but even so the planting is done really well here. So this colour combination I really love. You've got the deep purple of the sedum there, probably Purple Emperor. Now they have actually changed the name to sedum to something completely unpronounceable, but anyway, in my day they were called sedum. So the purple thing at the front, and then the grass behind it just picks up. It's got a purple tinge to it, so that just carries it through. And then into the, well, the purple blue spires of the Provoskia there, um, the Russian sage, make it look stunning. And also the verbascum is also a wonderful combination here. And still at the Waterperry Gardens, here's another quintessential English herbaceous border with a lovely brick, old brick wall behind it. Now, different colour scheme, suddenly the hot colours of the reds and oranges interspersed with a little bit of um, purple just to help offset the heat. But what makes this garden or this border work so well, again, and I keep banging on about this, is the shape. You can really see the clarity in the group planting. And that is so important because when things aren't flowering, this border still has to look good. To show you what I mean, here's another garden that wasn't waterperry, I hasten to add, that hasn't quite got the um, herbaceous planting done so well. So this herbaceous border, as you can see, it's beginning to go over a bit and the flowers aren't looking quite so full as they were. Now you'll notice there just isn't the clarity in the shape. So now the flowers are beginning to go over, the whole border is beginning to look a little bit on the messy side. So it just goes to show just how important the clarity of shape is and not just focusing on the flowers. Now, on to catching up with one of our successful garden design students. Now, you remember, maybe remember a while back, Ingrid from Ontario, Canada. Um, she was in her late 60s when she did this garden, and she did the Great Garden Formula course, and she had no previous design experience. And this is the garden that she not only designed, but she built it all herself. As you can see her pegging everything out. So that's how it looked last time we visited. And Ingrid's been kind enough to send me some updated photographs. So you can see the garden is maturing nicely. Um, so this is a sort of a couple of years on and um, the Provoskia is still going great guns there. So all in all, it's really doing well. So I'm thrilled that Ingrid has given us an update and has done such an amazing job. It's just a shame um, her neighbours haven't done the same thing. As you can see, their gardens are still completely empty. But anyway, maybe one day they'll also do the Great Garden Formula. So if you'd like to take a look at the online garden design course that Ingrid did, just visit greatgardenformula.com. And this is our most extensive course. Um, it originated just for homeowners, but we get so many uh, professional landscapers and garden designers wanting to expand on their knowledge that I've added to this course over time. And it walks you through everything you need to know from the very basics right through to masterclasses which take you to a very professional level and there's lots of bonus video tutorials that walk you through everything and also we've done designer details and there's um, example gardens from designers all over the world so it's not just my work we draw inspiration from everywhere 
and um, it's producing amazing results with complete amateurs being able to get to professional level design skills and it also comes with the five minute plant expert and the survey course and the cheats guide to sketching and visualizing as well as our brand new garden with software which you just choose the types of gardens that appeal most to you and then the clever wizard um, does some calculations and it works out the best style for your garden and then it gives you um, a PDF guide to walk you through how to create that style. So that's greatgardenformula.com to check out all the details. Right, let's get on with some more garden visits. Hello, we're coming from the West Dean Gardens near Chichester and um, what I want to show you in this garden is how they've done the planting borders. They've got two amazing herbaceous borders so if I just give you a spin round you can have a look. And um, what I like about this is they have very cleverly done it for different times of year. So this one here is obviously more for late summer, early autumn. You can tell by um, the planting that they've used. So everything more or less comes together in one go. And they've got a very coordinated colour scheme which is always a good idea and they've done the old trick of repeat planting as you can see with the wonderful yellow nephophias here but round the corner they've gone for a completely different colour scheme so this would have been um, pinks and blues and it would have looked amazing in the spring when the um, irises and the roses were flowering but you can see even though there's not a lot flowering at this time of year there's still a lot of clarity within the planting scheme and that's because of the large groups they've used particularly with the irises here and the foliage is still looking good so in sort of uh, late um, late spring early summer this border would have looked absolutely amazing so they've cleverly had different areas of the garden looking good at different times of year so that's something that you can do in your own garden because at certain times of year you're going to be using different areas more than others and then just on from there was the kitchen garden with another couple of amazing herbaceous borders and they'd really gone to town with the colours, the hot colours in this border and the beautiful foliage of the purple ricinus there, the castor oil plant. And the whole scheme was really vibrant but what was interesting was it actually was hiding the vegetable garden which um, was actually really rather amazing you know I've, I'd be thrilled if my vegetables looked anything like this but it was still a good idea for the times of year when vegetable gardens don't look quite so glorious to have them hidden behind um, lovely planting borders so it's a great garden to visit and I thoroughly recommend the, um, the tea shop there but they've also got other parts of the garden that are gorgeous um, this pergola walk I particularly loved. Now it's obviously very, very traditional, but there was just something so calming, apart from my camera work, obviously. Um, so it's definitely a garden uh, well worth visiting. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you'd like something covered in future episodes, then just leave a comment below this video. And if you'd like some more free training, go over to successfulgardendesign.com forward slash free classes, where you can sign up to attend one of our free online fast track garden design courses. And I'll walk you through everything you need to know um, in order to design your garden. So until next time, take care. Bye bye.